we all get emails and calls from constituents and non-constituents about issues we're working on. And every so often, I think one of those, those emails cla just, uh, just perfectly encapsulates what I, what I mean to say and the need for legislation. I, I want to read one of those emails to you today. Uh, dear Senator Onder, thank you for your efforts. And, and, and this is the bill on carjacking, Senate Bill, um, Senate bill number uh, 433. Thank you for your efforts along with Attorney General Schmidt and Representative David Gregory to make penalties for car carjacking stiffer and tracking these outcomes easier. I am a retired St. Louis police officer and currently oversee safety and security in the Central West End. The Central West End neighborhood was one of the top areas in the city last year for carjackings. My niece was a victim of carjacking in April 18th in Kansas City, Missouri. The defendant had two prior felony convictions and a horrible track record on previous probation. He, he pressed a gun to my niece and threatened to kill her. He finally pled guilty and received 120 days shock time, 559.115 program, and 12 years probation. This was totally unacceptable and an insult to my niece, the victim. I would agree. There were over 370 carjackings in Missouri in 2018, uh, three, over 300 of those in St. Louis. Violent thugs unable to hotwire modern car ignition systems instead are resorting to violence and, and, uh, and lethal weapons to commit the crime of stealing cars. The problem with our current law is that there is great inconsistency in sentencing ranging from robbery, first degree or second degree, all the way down to stealing. These are violent crimes which terrorize Missourians in a place where they should have an expectation, like their homes, of safety, in, uh, like their homes in their cars. This bill would create a tool to combat uh, carjacking by making this a felony crime and giving prosecutors the tools they need to bring these criminals to justice. It would allow for more uniforming, uniformity in sentencing and better tracking of this crime that has been increasing at an epidemic rate in our state. Uh, Senate Bill 433 will make our streets safer in Missouri. Thank you.